Hey, and welcome back to Tool Talk. Today is going to be a fun day. We oh, are yes. talking about being stronger than, than your, your excuses. excuses. So I have always said I am going to write a book mm-hmm. about all of the excuses <laughs> I have heard over my 30 years of training people and helping people get fit and healthy from reasons why they're not going to work out. Yes. And so what's the most funniest? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have had so many excuses. Probably one of the ones that's happened a little bit more recently that's in the forefront of my mind is I had a client text me one day and she said, I don't think I'm going to have you come for my workout today because I I do in-home personal training as well. So I was going to her house and she said, it's raining. And I'm (laughs) like, is your roof okay? Like, are you having rain pouring into your house? What's happening? She goes, no, it's just, it's raining outside. And I'm like, and I don't want to work out. <laughs> said, Do you not take a shower in the morning? I mean, it's just water. I'm, so, and it was so funny. I gave her such a hard time that she was like, "Fine, just come over here." But I thought you were going to cancel your workout with me just because it's raining outside. She please. Didn't get, you didn't want, she didn't want you to get wet coming from your car to the she, house. She, she didn't want my favor. crazy hair to get right. wet. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> It so that that's one of the ones. How about you? What's been your so crazy So my, ones? The, I guess the one that I find, I find the funniest is, so I teach the very first class in the morning. It's, you know, five days a week. And so they have to get up early. They will, so class starts at 6 a.m., 5.50 on Mondays and Fridays. They will text me at 5:20 or 5:15 or even 5:30. Now, granted, most of my people don't live far from the studio, but they will wake up and text me that they're not coming because they stayed out too late last night. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, you are waking up enough to text me. Just get your butt out of bed and go ahead and come. And it's funny because they know that I'm going to say this. I do not have, it's that we have these shirts called Excuse Slayer, and they know that I don't take their excuses lightly. I just, I will have an answer for every excuse that they try to throw my way. And I'm like, if you are going to wake up enough, because you have to, you have to wake up enough. Sometimes you have to sit up in bed, but you are coherent enough to send me words. Yes. Chances are you probably needed to get up and pee. Just go get your stinking <laughs> clothes on and drive and in your car on. and come on. Because I guarantee. So now I will, I will, and I will respond with, "You're going to regret it later." Yes. And they do. Absolutely, one hundred percent of the time, I have never gotten a text or have a no show for class where they have come back the next day and said, I'm so glad I didn't come to class yesterday. Yeah, right. Right, because working out, especially (laughs) first part of your day, like sets up the mood and the mojo for the rest of the day. And it's just so funny that they would just, yeah. And it would be different if you could get some sleep and some rest that was significant. But at that point, you're not. What are you going to get? Like maybe an hour? And you're not going to sleep well during that hour, most likely. So the exercise would have helped to give you some of that energy for sure. And then I hear the headache. Oh, I got a headache. I can't work out. Chances are, and it's funny. So when I got that text, it was early. It was still in the morning. And I wasn't training this lady until the afternoon. She's like, I have a headache. I don't know that I'm going to be able to come today. And I'm like, have you been drinking water? Well, no. I said, drink some water and try to eat a little bit. Let's see how you feel. Sure enough, she came. She was fine. She was just dehydrated. Yeah. Yep. And sometimes people don't even realize that. And I just want to say this because Heather and I are both very dependable fitness professionals. We show up. My clients know I have always said to them, if I don't show up, right, you need to be looking. Yes, the, you need to call, call the someone emergency people because something's wrong yes. if I have not shown up. And I very rarely cancel. I mean, I have to be super sick, you know, to yes. to cancel or to say, oh my gosh, I maybe yes. I shouldn't see you, you right. know, something's going on. But um, what if? 
we, as your fitness professional, woke up in the morning and said, I don't feel like going to class today, but you showed up at 5.50 a.m., And the doors are locked Locked. and the lights are out and you missed your workout just because we didn't feel like coming in. I mean, you would be ticked at us, right? Or maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah, (laughs) probably most of my people are like, all right, let's go get some breakfast. (laughs) Yes, right? (laughs) That And there's a lot of times, not that I'm saying that you should do things to harm your health. I mean, this is our profession and we do have to put other people ahead of ourselves sometimes. But I have headaches too. I have hormonal headaches that are three days long and I have sleepless nights yes Yes. I just have to suck it up and go (laughs) it's like I just show up but I also show up for myself for my workouts absolutely because I know that at the end of it I'm going to feel better absolutely so we are just like everybody else I always tell people I there are so many times that I say to myself just flip and go to the gym. Just yes. shut up. Shut up, Amber, and, and go to go. the gym. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, I have so much to do. And, oh, I didn't get this done. And, oh, I need to do that. And, yes. oh, I just want to go home and sit and snuggle with the dogs. Right? And, well, so do I. Yeah, but they'll right? still be there when you get home That's later. That's right. And so <clears throat> you have to make that commitment to yourself to show up yes. and then to other people. Another very interesting gamut of excuses <laughs> is injury related. Yes, All let's right? talk about that. So we know injuries happen, but we also know typically they do not encompass our entire body. Right. So my wrist is hurting. I can't come work out today. Or I hurt my, my the bottom of my foot is sore and I can't come work out today. Yes. I have a bad knee sprain. I cannot work out today. Well, I can guarantee you that I can give you a workout that will, number one, not hurt your little feet or not hurt your knee, and you're still going to strengthen your body as a whole, and you're going to feel better. And I just, you know, it's just a lot of times. But then I also have clients. I have one lady who had shoulder shoulder surgery, and by, like, I guess – it, she had surgery on Thursday. She was back with me on Monday, and we were just doing lower body seated stuff. Yeah, as long right? as the doctor yes. says that that's okay. Yes. You know, there are so many things that you can do. I trained a woman who was in a boot for six months, so she did not stop, and we just worked around it. Um, I also have trained someone after they had a double mastectomy. Yes. And now these are all, keep in mind that we listen to what Absolutely. the doctors say. So it's Absolutely. not like we go, shut up, Screw you have to be you. here. Yeah, yeah, it's not that. So, and I'm actually very adamant and I, I yes. know kind of most of the times because I, I've had a lot of clients that have had all different kind of surgeries. I kind of know approximately what the doctor is going to say as yes. far as when they can come back. So I don't let people come back early. No. But when they do get cleared for exercise, I just work around that. There are so many things that you can do with your fitness professional when you have been injured. I mean, when I tore my ACL, I was in physical therapy for months on end, twice a week for a long, long time. And then once I was cleared to do exercise, then I had to, you know, start strengthening my knee. But my upper body was fine. I could do upper body. And a lot of times, a lot of the movements we do um, with our clients simulate what they're doing in their rehab. Yeah. So they're, they're getting that, you know, a little extra, you know, of course, we always um, be sure not to overload. Oh, no. But they can still go through like the range of motion and that sort of thing. And it helps them to get through rehab. Yeah. I have had two clients who have had their rehab um professionals say okay you have been doing really good yeah you know I, you know and they'll be like oh well my trainer we've been doing this and they're like that's exactly what you need to be doing yes so we make sure that we talk to our clients and understand what it is that they're supposed to be doing and help strengthen their body because like we've said before everything's connected right so you, you know you just don't have pieces parts you can't you know but you can always uh still strengthen other parts of your body whether it's just balance and core work right right And the physical therapist is typically always going to give you homework. You're supposed to practice. And most of my people don't really always do their homework like they're supposed to. So if you, 
you know, I always have them bring me their sheet or yes. whatever, you know, film, whatever their yes. physical therapist told them to do. And then we can work on it when they come to see me. And another excuse, actually, it's a group of excuses, but a lot of times what happens is our people put other people first. Oh, 100%. All the I time. I get this all the time. Yes. And I'm like, why is your health being put on the back burner right? for other people? Because if you yes. aren't taking care of you. You can't take care of somebody else. Right. And who is looking out for you? Right. Sometimes I don't, it's not that your loved ones are doing this on purpose or they want to sabotage you or anything like that. They just don't think about it, but no. you are so fast to give up your workout yep. time to go care for someone else. Yes. And there are certain situations Absolutely. where that needs to happen. Absolutely. But if your kid is at school and they forgot their homework and you're going to give up your workout to right. go take them their homework. No. Why? Yes. Why is your workout being pushed to the side? And it's funny because I'll tell people if they're like, so a lot of times, of course, being the early morning mm -hmm. class, People will not set their alarms. This is also a very big bone of contention <laughs> that I was, I will not hesitate to express how I feel about, but they will not, they will forget to set their alarm or they will forget, you know, that they need to wake up. And I'm thinking now, if your child or your spouse or someone else that you deem important in your life had an event to go to, yes. you would have made sure that you were up in time to get you ready and them ready and get out the door on time. This Why would you not do this for yourself? But I always tell them, and it's very funny because I do have a good friend of mine whose mother-in-law was just um, recently, she had elbow replacement and that led to some other complications. Uh, but she has realized how much... <laughs> her husband does not really get into the care factor, right? right? So it's her job. So she's thinking, who's going to be taking care of me, right? <laughs> so this is a little wake-up call. It's like, I really need to be able to take care of myself because the people that I would normally rely on are not really showing very good capability of handling something else or someone else. So, you know, what, will they be able to help me? Probably not. So if you yeah. can't help yourself, then, you know, who's going to help you so if that doesn't fuel your fire, something should. Yes. And I have to say, not everybody has the caretaking oh, um, no. personality yes. no. because I'm not really a great yes. caretaker. So I kind of get that. But yeah. yes. <laughs> so let's talk about excuses. So these were excuses for our workouts yes. that we can definitely work around. What yes. about excuses of on nutrition, oh, Heather. Oh boy, those come <laughs> just as but that river flows just as fast as the other one does. It's very funny. So my favorite one is I was talking to a um, a potential client about uh, nutrition and how if they would just you know give us the opportunity to show them some techniques and some education that they could make a lifestyle change. Well, her initial thought was. I don't, I don't want to join this if all I'm going to be eating is cardboard and tofu. Yeah. And I thought to myself, I really, I sat, you know, flabbergasted and a little <laughs> bit lost for words thinking, where on earth, and she's known me, this person has known me for a very long time, where on earth would give you the idea that I would ingest cardboard or tofu, <laughs> much less encourage another population to do it because it's going to make you, you know, feel better. Yes. That's just, I just don't really understand. We're, we're not about that life. So don't no. ever think about that. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Um, but another, another common excuse I get is, so if we have, a lot of times we'll have challenges and programs continually. So our, our clients are always engaged in something different and there's always the opportunity to do something. And I will get this, well, I can't start that program because I'm going to be going on a trip yes. or I'm going to go on a trip in the middle of that program. So I can't start that program. And I'm thinking, what? Why not? <laughs> right? I, yes. So you can, especially now, the way that we have amenities to us, 
coolers that will keep yes. things cool for days on end that are small and foldable even take your food with you yeah meal prep you can certainly join a nutrition program where you're going to get educated and do meal plans and go on a trip you can still eat healthy on a vacation yes you can. don't think that it's just an allowance for crap food time <laughs> because you can enjoy it like we've talked about in some of our nutrition podcasts we can enjoy life without getting, you know, off the crazy rails. Yes. You can eat good and have fun all at the same time. This is true. Yes. And once you learn the way that we encourage the balanced eating, it actually helps when you're going on trips yes. because when you do have to order food somewhere, you're are more you are conscious about what yes, you choose. Yes. You know what you're like, "Oh, I need to get my protein in yes. here, so this is what I need to make sure I get this." I mean, it it can yes. very easily be done. You don't have to pack your cardboard and your tofu no. to go with you. <laughs> I do not eat tofu. All no, right. There's nor only do one. I eat cardboard. Yeah, so the only place that I will eat tofu is P.F. Chang's because they have oh. a dish that I like. Do they fry it? I oh. think they no. do, actually. It's lightly <laughs> fried, of course. Anything fried is delicious, right? I was going to say, that's probably the only way I would eat it. coconut milk and all kind of oh, vegetables gosh. in it. Yeah, I just really like it. Yes. You wouldn't like it because it's got coconut in it. That's but. too funny. So... The other thing as far as the excuses for nutrition. So here's what I hear no, a lot of times. My husband, my oh, spouse yes. won't eat that. My yes. children yes. won't eat that. Well, okay. And this is where I struggle a little bit because my husband and myself, right. we do not eat anything alike. Yes. We are totally different because my husband has a lot of food allergies so he can't eat a lot of things i i just don't i really i mean i'm kind of lucky in a way that he cooks for himself i cook for myself right most of the time um but so it's okay for you to cook some things maybe that are a little different for you but it doesn't have to be that you're not eating what the rest right. of your family is eating that's again where it comes back to yes. this education yes. where we teach you about how to set up your plate and then you can make choices that work for you and your family. Right. You don't have to alienate yourself. No, and you don't have to sit over there and like eat a salad while everybody else is having pizza. That's not right. what we teach people to do. No. But I get very frustrated with oh, tell me. the back to the spouse, family, all of this. Well, I, I have to have this stuff in the house for my kids or yes. for my husband or for my wife or whatever. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. They don't need to eat that crap either. either right? <laughs> like, don't put crap food in the house. There's so many other options. Oh, my god! So many other options yes. available. And teaching your children to make better nutrition Absolutely. choices. Is, and I, did, I am not one of those people that's like, you need to put your kid on a diet. No. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying eating things for health and saying, okay, so, you know, may, let's make chicken nuggets at home right? in the air fryer. Yes. It, you know, just little, yes. there's little changes that you can make. There's so many little things that you can do to make it work for everybody. Absolutely. So yes, the nutrition is something that absolutely people use a lot of excuses yes. for. I always say if there is a will, there is a way. Yes. You can carry that with you across the board. As my dad would say, you can write that down in your little black book because he would always give me funny little <laughs> sayings. And he was like, Heather, you can write that down in your little black book. If you want something bad enough, you will figure out how to make it work for you and your household. Yes. So, and just, this is something, this is what works for me. Yes. Okay. Because I have a crazy life and Heather and I both get up at four o'clock in the morning um, so, and we run hard yes. all day. I mean, Heather takes care of her grandkids when she's not working. I typically work, work, work all day. And then I do computer work and all this other stuff for the training tool. But I had to learn, I had to meal prep. Yes. For me, it worked out to do it on Saturday and Sunday and have everything prepped for the week. I take yes. a cooler with me every single day of my mm -hmm. life. I eat cold food. Now, that's my that's choice. Weird. That's I, weird. It, Sometimes she gets... She gets I, I do some weird stuff. But that's just because yeah, I know I need to eat. Her. And yes. I'm like, 
so I don't have time to heat right? it up. I'll eat it yes. cold in the car, whatever. Yes. So, you know, it, there's just so many things that you can do to make sure that you're setting yourself up right? for success. And always have grace for yourself. Oh, yeah. Because we're all not perfect. Some, You know, you're going to walk out that door and forget your stuff. It's going to happen. Yes. I walk out the door and leave my perfectly prepared whatever. <laughs> you know, but at least you know, number one, that you have tried. And yes. then just make your way through the day knowing what you've got to do to fix it. Yeah. And don't go, oh, crap. Well, I left my good food at home. I'm just going to drive through the fast food line and get me a burger and fries and a Coke yeah. for lunch because that's all I have time for. And a lot of times I tell people, just stop at the grocery store. Yes. Or here in Ocala, we right. have Earth Fair and Earth yes. Origins, and they have hot bars There's that so you could go options. in and make yes. a salad. They have lean protein mm-hmm. choices on the bar. So, and I'll run in Publix. You can get fruit. You yes. can get some deli meat. Right. You can get a ready-made salad. There are just so many things that you can pick up. It doesn't have to be, oh, i got to eat fast food right. now. I told you we were the excuse layers. I know right <laughs> although i do love some of the jesus chicken all right so oh, i love absolutely. me some chick-fil-a, yes, chick-fil-a. <laughs> and i was gonna say so it's funny so i i typically now i'm at a point where i don't really fast food yeah only because i just don't want it but i can guarantee you that i can go through any drive through line and pick out something that is edible yeah and it's not gonna send me off the rails for the day right right? so you just consciously always have to be aware okay this is what I can choose I can get like a plain hamburger yeah and a small order of fries if that's what you're feeling or the sides of fruit that they have for the kids I mean just don't think that you're throwing your whole day away because you're stuck in this situation right this is just a part of your day and you're gonna move through it on to the next thing and by the end of the day you will not have wrecked your color intake for the entire lifetime of your your goals or whatever you know tomorrow is a new day but you can't keep you can't keep making the same choices and expecting different results as well so at some point you've got to you know hold yourself accountable and figure out okay I left my stuff on the couch on the counter why you know did is it because I was trying to rush to get something else Mm -hmm. or help somebody else so then you figure out how to make that not be a factor for tomorrow right and planning ahead sets you up for success. Absolutely. So Heather and I recently have started working out together. Um, and so we actually plan our workouts. Yes. We put them in our calendar. And so it says in mine, right. like workout, yep. I know when I'm working out, Heather's waiting on me. If I don't show up, right? if I just leave her yes. high and dry, she's not going to be very happy no, with me. you don't know how I feel <laughs> about being left alone. <laughs> and then with food, that again, planning, yes. you can't just wing it no. and think it's going to happen. There has to be consistency yes. there. And you've got to build that consistency in. And in the beginning, it's not going to naturally happen. No. You have to set alarms put notes yes. places you have oh, to there remind is yourself no reason not to remember i keep telling everybody i'm like do you have a smartphone yeah yes there is no reason for you not to set an alarm to get up or to remember to do whatever it is you know i always say put it in your calendar and then you know that it's going to happen yes yes. heck you can even tell alexa to remind remind you 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 know (laughs) we have the world has made it so easy for you yes So we just have to get on board with that. So your excuses, you are stronger than that. You do not have to have those and take notes from us so you can be like me. I I say, shut up, Amber. Be like me. (laughs) Shut up, Amber. And just do it. Just do it. Golly. (laughs) I can't tell you how many times I tell that to myself. (laughs) Just do it. You know, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. And you'll be so happy at the end. Nobody regrets doing things that regrets regrets that they are taking care of their health for sure. No. So we hope that gives you a little motivation today to slay those excuses and if you can't do it call us we'll do it for you we'll do it for you i'll be happy to (laughs) heather is a little bit more intense i'm a little slaying yeah there you go i really take my slaying seriously (laughs) folks so we hope you have the best day go get some exercise in and eat healthy and we can't wait to hear you see you on the next podcast yes like and subscribe and share tell all your friends about us until next time Bye.